Hey guys, we're at a really unique basement here, right? We're sitting just over 950 square feet. Um, but the challenge here was we had like five columns, we had a low ceiling, uh, we didn't have the budget to remove the columns. So um, we hear often like, I don't know if I can finish my basement, you know, for all those reasons, but here's a great example of what you can get. We got a playroom, TV area, a little workout area. Uh, we have a bar and we also have a half bath. So check this out. We're gonna start right here with the, uh, with the wet bar. Really cool not break the bank type of things we don't have like some crazy granite or quartz we got some but i actually love it it's fantastic and uh, love the live edge countertop this is just fantastic butcher block back here we just got some stock cabinets um but you can sit like eight people here so it's really nice what's also cool where we incorporated the bar uh because they big entertainers we incorporated it with one of the columns in the corner of the bar so that got rid of one of the five columns so then i'm out in the open area here now let's talk about this side of the basement this side of the basement had even a lower ceiling right here um yeah i'm a short guy right and i can touch it but it doesn't hurt us because we sat the couch down underneath this area with the tv here and then we took the other four columns and we created this counter and if you come around this side you'll see what i'm talking about we have another piece of live edge uh, lumber and we put the bar stools and tucked them in here. So even if you're hanging out in this area here, congregating, having a party, talking, you can still see the TV. And the area that I'm in right now, you also have you know, the higher ceiling. So um, what we did here also was we incorporated half bath. If you come over here, we tucked it in right here. Um, really nice, um, beautiful tile, um, nice size vanity. I mean, it suits its needs. We don't have uh, a shower, which there was no need for that. Um, so really on this side of the basement, it's, it's pretty cool. It feels a lot bigger than it is. We got a little window here coming from the kids' playhouse, and you're gonna see that on the other side. So now as, as we come to the other side of the basement, over here, one thing you're gonna notice is the staircase is open on both sides. Huge important, especially in this size basement, to make it feel and look bigger. Um, the other thing we did too, we didn't have a lot of depth here, but we still snuck a little built-in in here. You can see it's not real deep, but it catches your eye rather than a plain wall. And then this side here, you have the kids' play area, um, but it's open to the other side of the basement. We have a, a door here going into the utility storage room. Uh, we have closet for the kids. Look at this playhouse door right here. We custom made this on a CNC machine. Going here, you can see that window that was on the other side. A little bench, really nice setup, super cute. And the uh, kids really love it in there. And uh, it's one thing the kids love, love a lot, but yeah, getting back over to the main area, you can see with the stairs open, it's a really, really nice basement, and it's just such a great example of how much you can get in a space. And you know, homeowners just did a great job at decorating and using the space perfectly. So, super proud of the way this one came out.